Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your tarot, Daily Tarot Cards for Thursday, September 1st, 2022, Throne Thursday. Today we're pulling from the Game of Throne Tarot Cards. So happy September, manifestations, what you want to achieve, what you're thankful for in this last cycle of uh, August, what you've learned, you know, anything that you're continuously thankful for. Dream big, ask and you shall receive. You know, the universe is abundant. You never know what could come your way. So they're highlighting and praising us for, you know, especially the chariot. With determination and dedication, you are the victor wearing the wreath. You know, they're talking about the empress here. And we're talking about the combination of elements with all four queens combined to make the empress. We are under a Virgo sun and a Libra moon. So we're bringing in that balance. But also when we have Venus, Venus rules Libra. And it's like that love, that nurturer, that compassionate person. You know, we have the eight of coins. And it's like, you know, talking about, you know, your work being out on display, being in the spotlight, your fire energy. You know, I feel like that's, you know, chariot all about, you know, I know it's cancer, but I definitely feel fiery energy with it. I definitely feel it's like that force, like you dig deep, even when you don't think you have anything else, get any gas in the tank, you dig even deeper. And I feel like it's like, even though others may like kind of look at you skew because it's just like, oh, why are you, you know what I mean? It's like, that's who they are. People shouldn't judge others because if someone is passionate and dedicated with their job, they should not judge others for what they do. You know what I mean? Like if you're sitting there and you don't, you know, you don't work overtime X, Y, and Z, that's your prerogative, but don't run someone else down because they like to sit there and you know what I mean? Show out, show up and show out. You know what I mean? It has nothing to be about a kiss ass or anything like that. No, you know, some people like working, you know, so many hours collecting EI and relaxing. That's their prerogative. Me, I would go stir crazy. I would get too much in my head. You know, they're talking about the Queen of Swords, even though you're going through this positive shift, you know, even Pastor West saw, talked about this, this positive shift, you, a blessing after blessing after blessing in September is going to come and even onward. We were showing that in cycles as well with abundance, cornucopia, you know, it's like moving forward. It's just like sit there, self-preservation. If you have to dig in your emergency fund, you cannot afford it. So be mindful of that judgment, this rebirth, this change in our life, embrace it. With the uh, Mercury retrograde, we got uh, the stillness of winter, winter with patience. So let things flow. We have the Knight of Spears. So he's talking about stuck situations. He was highlighted back in January 2024, you know, talking about stuck situations getting moved with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like it's like, you know, Mercury retrograde, you know, they're talking about us. They were specifically saying that you don't know all the information in the situation from the past. You're going to be told something and I feel like you two will reconnect. I could be in a friendship. It could be in um, a love situation. So fertility, creativity, authority, abundance, peace. The empress denotes the mother, wife, or feminine partner or an influential female. She symbolizes care, security, and abundance. So relationships flourish. This card also predicts a child. As she is traditionally paired with the emperor, she represents stability and love. Creative projects also thrive under her influence, and home life is harmonious. New opportunities unfold. Finances improve. Definitely going along with the, you know, the eight of coins. Like, you know, you, you sat there and put your best foot forward. You know, they're talking about how people put all this, you know, garbage on their CV, and it's just like they have nothing to back it. It's like show them time and time again, all of them, you know what I mean? Like be like, dang, that's why we hired this person. You know what I mean? You know, showing them why that you're worthwhile. Like, you know, it's worth investing into you because you are what they wanted. You know, you, you know, you're that positive influence. So eight of coins, apprenticeship, perfection, reward. The eight of eight often called the apprentice card appears in the tear uh, t appears about education and skill. It shows successfully finishing a task of course or of learning and completing work or high standard. The card often comes in a, up in a reading to mark the end of a degree or diploma course, a probation period at work, or a phase of creativity and craftsmanship. Your work brings you financial reward. So one thing that really stands out is like completing this uh, course of learning. And they were highlighting with Mercury Retrograde where they were talking about how... Um, you, um, 
some people will sit there and ascend to the Asaki records. So we sit there and it's like where we are, we give clairvoyance, clairaudience, you know, you know, all these channel messages and where they're able to, you know, loved ones are able to come in and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, the next level of that, you know, I'm getting knockings. Like I got one with, uh, so when I read for quite often, her loved one was showing like her, um, feeling this pull towards heaven, you know, and it was just a glimmer of it. And I was just like, wow, you know? Um, and then one I read for, and you guys know I'm devoted to God, but it's just like, you know, just to hear someone on the other side, sit there and tell her because she's, you know, and I can understand that. Like, I, it's not like I questioned my faith. It was just, I didn't know what to say at that time. Cause I was just completely speechless and in shock when Shane passed and I was just quiet. I said, God, please forgive me. I don't know what to say at this time. I read, you know, front to back the highlighted passages in my Bible that really stood out to me. And that would be it. I, I would just, you know, be start listing the things I'm grateful for, you know, and just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Cause it was, you know, it's hard, you know, and you know, of someone in particular, it's her past, you know, loved one that sat there and told her like, God is real. Like, you know what I mean? Believe and put your faith in that, you know, and they've been encouraging her to get back in touch with her faith. So maybe that's going to be that push from him you know, telling her that, that she'll sit there and actually, uh, go back to her faith. Who knows, you know, free will, but it's just like, you know, I love what I do and I, and experience at the same time as people I read for, because it's just like, I'm in awe just as much as some people. It's just like, dang, you know what I mean? So with determination and dedication, you will be the victor wearing the wreath with the chariot. And I feel like in both sides, I feel like with the eight of coins, you know, they're highlighting people working multiple jobs. And, you know, let's be honest, that's what we have to do nowadays, especially if it's a passion po project. I feel like you're shining in both, you know. So progress, victory, determination, mastery, control, energy, journey. The chariot reveals a major departure. You make a determined move forward, either physically through travel or ho moving homes or pro progressing in your work and create adventures. The card often comes up to show an opportunity that brings financial rewards or other marks of success. Relationships progress. You commit a, or journey on alone. Determined to follow your calling. Driving a new vehicle. So I feel like it's just like maybe others have fallen off to the side. You know, you know they, they, they don't feel the same way you do. And that's fine. That's why everybody is on their own journey. Everybody is like a snowflake. They're doing their own thing. You got to do what resonates with you. Some things may resonate with others. You don't have to question yourself. Mm -hmm. No, do what resonates with you. So we're going to the queen of swords, single mindedness, strength, intelligence, insight. The queen, smart, charismatic, and wise is an ally up to a point, but she ultimately puts herself first. Apply to a situation. She advises you to trust your, in your intelligence and insight. The card often comes up in readings to show strength of character and can stand for single parents and single women. I feel like they're showing like, you know, especially in my situation or any parent that's out there or guardian for that matter, you know, like they call, um, Marlo Mar Monty, you know, stepping into that role, even just being there, you know what I mean? For a child, investing that time into a child is like, you are raising the vibration of the world. You're giving that child a purpose. You're giving them a reason to keep moving forward when they don't want to. You're inspiring them. You're encouraging them. You're showing them that, you know, you just don't have your parents. You can trust me because it's scary as heck to talk to your parents about certain situations. So, you know, when you talk to someone and you hear like, it's going to be okay. And you have someone that supports you, you know, it makes it easier to have those conversations. So judgment, the past, second chance, memories, guilt, awa awareness, awakenness, the soul. So awakenness of the soul reduces to two, the number associated with opposites and choice. So like you can even see with his hands, like kind of looks like a Libra scale to me, you know, but duality. Judgment often appears in readings when you are on the brink of change. And when it comes, memories, dreams of the past. People reappearing in your life. You may decide to do, to give a situation or relationship a second chance or otherwise review your behavior and see at a higher level the life lessons offered. The card also suggests spiritual awakeness, mediumship, and connecting with angels and guides. This is a powerful opportunity to make sense of the past. Fame, reputation. Definitely. Like if, you know, I always say like if 
you know, obviously being where I am now in life and grown and um, matured and gained knowledge along the way. Yeah, I could see we were talking about this earlier. This, this, I almost said the S word. Uh, the things that I've done that don't align with who I am now and the knowledge to know better. You know, to, the courage to know the difference. The intellect to know the difference and how cruddy I was, you know. And if I could go back, I would definitely change that. I would sit there and be like, you know, yes, I was immature. Yes, I was raised. Anyway, but it's just like, you know, accountability. You know what I mean? And I would definitely have accountability for what I did. I would profusely apologize and ask for forgiveness. If they don't want to give it, I totally understand. You know what I mean? But it's just like, you know. I can't give excuses for it, you know. Yeah, X, Y, and Z happened in my life, but it, it's not an excuse, you know what I mean? I said it, I have to hold myself accountable for those actions, you know. So, some places were out of insecurity, some places were just showing off, some places, I don't know. It's just, you know, sometimes it was in the right place, you know. Not like that, but like standing up for others and stuff. But you gotta, you know, that's the part of growing up, you're realizing, you know. My son actually went through that when he was 11. He's like, you know, sitting back and he's, I went through the same thing as him at his age. And it's like realizing some of the things that I did were cruddy. And it's like, I, you know, getting your moral compass. You know what I mean? Your moral compass changes as, you know, hopefully as you get older and realizing, you know, could have done things better. So the Knight of Spears. This gentleman has been with us since January 24th. So past desire, progress, travel. So a lot of progress. Very positive. The knight is dramatic, creative, and driven. Applied to a situation, he shows speed and action. So you make real progress. Make your travel physically or find that a stuck situation is suddenly freed up. Exciting new projects, a new job, or even a whirlwind romance are possible now. The knight often appears in readings to show moving homes. So we're getting a lot of, um, you know, things knocking on moving homes. Like I know a lot of uh, kids are going back to school. Maybe it's their first time to college or away from home or returning. So we're getting a lot of that energy. You know what I mean? But maybe this is like myself where you have that desire to move where it would be more functional for the family, you know, but I have no desire to repeat the, the past and, and force things to happen. And it blows up in my face. You know what I mean? Making bad, you know, making, uh, rash decisions, you know, so learning from the past, you know, we were talking about that yesterday, you know, one th way to learn from, you know, to, to look in the past is like, you know, you know, if I would have been a little bit more patient, maybe the situation would have turned out differently. So, you know, all you could do is move forward. But I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, September 1st, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.